Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, my name is Warren Guru, aka Loki Bunny. Uh, and man, hey, listen, welcome back. And I wanted to give you a quick BTS behind the scenes on my latest, uh, my latest short film and, you know, music video, uh, Lonely 2. So, um, as of right now, I've dropped uh, basically, uh, some videos that are creatively done by the help of AI. I wanted to be transparent about that, but it's not like you can just jump on your iPhone or jump on your computer and tell it, hey, give me this, and it just does that. You know, there's a lot of work behind the scenes that's involved with creating these pieces of art. I would consider it, honestly, kind of like s similar to um, certain different tools in the painting world that became available once modern-day technology became more, um, well, more modern. <laughs> um but I do got to say something that's on my heart, okay? So, um, obviously, there's a connect here when a, a lot of times people, especially right now, what's going on in the Sean Puffy Combs case, that they're connecting that with a lot of different specific things in Hollywood. So, yes, I went ahead and did my, you know, uh, creative uh, diligence, I guess you could say, to essentially try to connect the stories to kind of get a clickbait, right? I want to say right now, I don't know if Justin or Puff or, you know, if there anything crazy was going on there. I just have to say that for the record. But uh, I do have to say that, you know, being a child actor in Hollywood uh, is definitely a lot of shit that, you know, goes down that honestly should not go down. Uh, I have friends that are, don't want to put their names out there, but I have some friends that are child, child uh, actors. Um, that, uh, are pretty famous and, uh, I could, I can literally contest, you know, I could literally give that testimony. One thing that I want to say though, is that the thing that I wanted to do is beyond kind of this like mid controversy of like, you know, the whole Diddy thing along with like, you know, the things that are going on or that surrounds that at the moment. I want to say that there's essentially something that's happening beyond that. Okay. There's always been something that's happening. It's just like something that I want to just say kind of being so somewhat of a nobody right now right uh i'm a somebody let's just say that but as far as you know popularity goes um to the world but i just want to say this and i might it might you know come back to hit me back later but it's just on my heart and this is what it is so when lonely came out the first one right which was the one that was specifically um you know uh produced by um first of all one of the greatest uh, producers to ever do it. Um, and I just want to say that first and foremost, before I, um, start to talk about this thing. Um, his name is Benny Blanco and, um, Benny Blanco has produced several different hits in, in Hollywood and, and all across the world. And I'm not going to discredit his talent because he's a very, very, very talented person. No buts. However, um, Justin Bieber is factually a Christian man. Facts. Biddy Blanco is facts a Jewish man. This is facts. I'm not gonna, you know, this this is what it is. And you have a great moment in life three years ago where this Jewish man and this Christian man get together and they create this beautiful song. But the one thing that they forget to leave out of it is the most important thing when people are lonely, which is what Justin can settle with, Jesus. See, by the fact that Justin is a Christian, he believes that the Lord Jesus Christ died for our sins and he rose again. Benny Blanco, however, does not if he falls in line with the true Jewish beliefs. This is facts. So when you bring this music to the table, you have to consider all these elements to be able to put together a piece of work that embodies something greater than yourself. And unfortunately, what happens in Hollywood is you have Christian that are essentially placed in a position where they have to only give and forgive me, forgive me for saying this. If you're listening, Justin, but you can only give half of what you really fucking truly want to give. Excuse my French. 
So I had to come into the picture three years later and I had to put together a piece that was essentially what the world needed. Again, no disrespect to Benny Blanco, no disrespect to anybody that is Jewish, but this needed a Christian touch with a bluegrass soul background. So hopefully you ladies and gentlemen out there are enjoying Justin Bieber and Warren Guru, Lonely Two.